the most significant obstacles to knowing Allah is one's self-will. Having what I want versus what Allah wants. Not surrendering to Allah. Islam comes from the word Taslim. A Muslim is one who surrenders to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is one thing to say I am a Muslim and I surrender to Allah. It is another thing that one's actions shows this surrender. That one realizes that one's existence is entirely dependent on Allah and that Allah continues to sustain me and keep me alive every single moment of my life. Most of us as we go through life, there is this sense of independence where yes we say that we trust Allah, that we depend on Allah, that Allah is our provider. But if we find out there is a recession, it shakes our sense of security, doesn't it? We start wondering now, do I have enough for a retirement? Because our sense of security comes from other than Allah, when in fact it should come from Allah. Why does that happen? That happens because most human beings go through life believing they are independent of Allah, that Allah has created them and then left them alone. He has never left us alone even for the blinking of an eye. I acknowledge that I am the slave of Allah. Now how do I know whether this is what Allah wants or not? The only way is to remove the I from the equation. That is the only way to know. And when that happens, then he is driven only by the will of Allah. And it is on this basis that you will then understand when Allah recites the Qasida of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. Ma yantiqu anil hawa. He does not speak out of his own desire. In huwa illa wahi. Or when he praises his messenger and says, وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهِ And you do not wish anything except what Allah wishes.